Skywatch Media News for October the 14th, 2020. A spectacular meteor fireball event over the United States on the evening of October the 11th was so amazing that according to initial reports, those who had witnessed the event were concerned that the United States may have been under attack by nuclear weapons. A huge meteor struck the Earth's atmosphere over the northeast United States, which onlookers described as the most amazing thing they had ever witnessed. The fireball entry was so intense that it was seen across six states and the city of Toronto in Canada. Cameras picked up the phenomenon, displaying a large blue stream blazing quickly across the night sky. Eyewitnesses flocked to the International Meteor Organization to report the sighting, with some onlookers worried that a nuclear strike was underway. If you follow the eyewitness accounts of recent sightings, it appears as though people are really spooked by what is taking place across the sky this year. Exploding meteors, deafening sonic booms, meteorite impacts, and asteroid close approaches have many people on edge. A multitude of sensational astronomical events are being published in today's headlines which raises red flags about what may now be taking place in the far reaches of space. Comets, asteroids, and meteors have been around since the formation of the solar system and have been a part of our existence long before humans set foot on Earth. Although the cosmic phenomenon has long been known, there remains many extraordinary events waiting to be seen. And this is why the curious mind is looking to the sky with great amazement. In retrospect, the American Meteor Society has experienced more than 154,000 atmospheric meteor events over the past 15 years, which equates to more than 10,000 events per year. Therefore, it is the frequency of these events that is fueling the concern that is shared by so many as noted by the statements left by individuals who witnessed the October event over U.S. skies. A few days prior to the meteor shock over the U.S., sky watchers in northeastern Mexico were startled when an immense meteor blazed across the sky late in the evening of October the 6th. Reports came flooding in from across the northern states of Nuevo Leon and Tamaulipas, after the suspected meteor streaked across the sky at approximately 22.14 p.m. local time. The fireball that was widely seen and described as exceptionally bright fell through the Earth's atmosphere, its movement captured by security cams, webcams, and doorbell cameras as it burned through the darkness. Eyewitnesses to the Mexican meteor event describe a blazing cosmic body of amazing proportions. As the fireball scurried across the state of Tumalipas, 
civil protection workers were suddenly deployed to the town of Lazaro Cardenas to extinguish brush fires which began shortly after the meteor airburst over Mexico's northeastern state. In the rubble of the extinguished fire were found strange debris and stones which resemble meteorite fragments. What was so intriguing, if not mysterious, about the passage of what may have turned out to be a meteorite event is that its appearance came with the landfall of Hurricane Delta, which struck the Yucatan Peninsula with winds exceeding 110 miles per hour. If a hurricane and a meteorite event were not enough, Mexico also experienced a series of 14 earthquakes, registering 4.0 or higher on October the 7th. The trio of events that took place in Mexico in recent days is more than just amazing. It is an indication that the multiple forces of earth, wind, and fire are playing havoc with communities across many regions. And this has become a worrisome sign of our times. The Northern Hemisphere is presently in the midst of two meteor showers, the most recent being the Draconids and the Taurus. But the meteors that appear during these showers are much different than the ones being witnessed in such an incredible fashion recently. Here is where the distinction is evident. Meteor showers originate from icy debris that is left behind by the orbit of comets. They are about the size of a grain of rice and are so fragile that they vaporize in our atmosphere, never impacting the ground. The meteor airburst over Monterey, Mexico on October the 6th and the blazing meteor over the northeastern states on October the 11th are not related to the present meteor showers. These rocks were much larger and were therefore able to penetrate the Earth's atmosphere with sufficient velocity. NASA is now tracking a giant 500 meter asteroid which will pass the Earth in late November. The asteroid named 2000 W0107 is 1640 feet in diameter. It will make its closest approach to Earth at a distance of roughly 2.6 million miles on November the 29th. This asteroid is thought to be an unusually fast-moving space rock, cruising through space at an incredible 56,000 miles per hour. To put this into perspective, asteroid 2020 SW, which passed the Earth in September, was traveling at 17,336 miles per hour which means that the approaching asteroid will be traveling at a speed greater than three times that of recent asteroid encounters. The approaching asteroid is of great interest to astronomers because of its tremendous size. If you compare the size with asteroid 2020 SW, the difference is astronomical. But even asteroid 2000 W0107 is small in comparison to the asteroid belt's largest object, Ceres, which is estimated to be 170 miles in diameter. NASA is keeping a close eye on next month's approaching asteroid, not because of an imminent threat, but because the asteroid is expected to make a return visit, but this time it will pass closer to Earth. Asteroid 2000 W0107 is an Aten-type asteroid, which means that, that it has an orbit similar to Earth's. It completes an orbit around the Sun every 318 days. Its path brings the asteroid between the orbits of Mercury and Earth. It will sweep past Earth at 108 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on November the 29th and may be visible with a small telescope facing east, using the coordinates shown in this chart. This is an unusual asteroid that not only approaches close to Earth, but also approaches close to Mars, Venus, and Mercury. The space agency will be taking readings of the asteroid during its next close approach to analyze radar signals that bounce from its rocky surface. 
The signals will help in identifying its shape and its composition. As you ponder the mysteries of our existence, consider this. In an age of hope, Civilizations, such as the Mayans, looked up at the night sky and saw the heavens. But now, in an age of hopelessness, astronomers simply call it space. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and keep looking to the sky.